Today, I'm giving an honest review of the moisturizer that was called the It Cream of 2019. So if you'd like to hear more, just keep on watching. My name's Michelle, and I welcome you to Daily Dashing. Please give this video a like and a subscribe down below, and leave me a comment to let me know what you think of this cream, if you've tried it, and if you're willing to spend this much money. So without further ado, I am talking about Augustinus Bader which has been so hyped over the past couple years. I finally gave in and tried it. I bought it as a reward for myself for meeting a weight loss goal, and it is pricey. The first order I made, I received it on December the 6th of 2019, and it is the Augustinus Bader The Cream, which is there's a The Cream and there's a The Rich Cream. So this I bought from Neiman Marcus and it was $170 for one ounce or 30 milliliters of product. So this is a very pricey cream. Um, I was able to use a coupon, the uh, welcome sign up coupon from ne Neiman Marcus, but it's still a lot of money. This, it has a base, there's aloe in it. And the big thing about Augustinus Bader is something called TC. Oh, I'm sorry, let me get it right. TFC8. So it's trigger factor complex eight. And I'll get into what that means in just a bit, but I want to show you the packaging first. It it wasn't anything that magical to me for that price, but I guess, you know, a nice austere packaging, maybe that's what they were going for. I'll read the back. A revolutionary face cream inspired by 20 years of research and innovation. Professor Augustinus Bader has created a light, refreshing yet deeply hydrating cream to restore skin's youthful appearance, dramatically transforming the complexion with skin rejuvenating TFC8 technology. And the directions are to smooth two pumps of this in an upward fashion on your face and your neck. So let me show you what the package actually looks like. So it is the blue bottle. So if you've seen on Instagram, um, this is becoming very, very hyped. It's reached cult status with celebrities, all that fun stuff. So this is the primary cream. And this is designed for people with combo skin, a little bit oilier skin. It They bill it as great for people that live in humid climates. Um, my skin tends to be a little combo. So I chose this one first. And I didn't think it was rich enough for me. So I ended up ordering the Augustine Spader, the Rich Cream. This packaging is a little bit nicer. It's textured. This I got directly from the Augustine Spader website for $85 for 15 milliliters. So I didn't spend quite as much money. But of course, the cost per ounce is much greater by getting the smaller size. But I didn't want to sink any more money into it without knowing what I was getting. And this one is, as the name implies, a little bit richer. It has argon oil, avocado oil, evening primrose oil, but it has the same TFC8 that Professor Bader is known for. And so the bottle looks almost exactly the same. It just says the rich cream on it. And I have gone through all of this. Um, I've been using this for, well, using the combination of these two for over six weeks now. And when you go to their website, they recommend that you use nothing but this for a minimum of 27 days to really see how it works on your skin. And I've done that. I've actually used it for over 27 days. I've used it for six weeks now, and I didn't use anything else. I used this as my eye cream. I didn't use any serums, any toners, any um, exfoliating products, whether it be a scrub or a chemical exfoliant. So just these two things for six weeks. Now, I'll talk a little bit about why the hype. Um, so Augustine Spader, he's actually um, a professor and the director of applied stem cell biology at the University of Leipzig in Germany. And he's known for being a stem cell scientist and specifically for working with um, burns and helping to heal skin after burns. And after you know, working in field for so many years, he had this TFC8 complex that he ended up putting into the skincare line. So I think that's a big part of the hype is you have this, this professor, this, you know, doctor working in the field to help those with burns and, you know, with the hands-on research, you know, this is supposed to be a miracle product. And I'll get into some of the reviews. Um, it's being called the future of skincare L, 
magazine actually gave it their Future of Beauty Award just a few months back. It's just fresh in town and country as the Luxury Beauty Awards 2020 Best Cream. And I believe the cream is the best cream for 2020, according to Town and & Country. And they labeled it the It Cream of 2019. And in the actual review, it says, after a month, my skin, my complexion is more even toned and feels more juicy. That's what they said. And also it was in Marie Claire, December 2019, a write-up. Um, and the billing of it was why Augustinus Bader cream is worth it. And the author wrote, I look effing amazing as the quote on it. Uh, it was just in the cut, the 14 best beauty products of 2019. And they said it might give you rich person skin. So a lot of hype. And I'm going to share my experience. I bought these with my own money. Nothing was sent to me. No special discounts. Nothing. I saw the hype. I thought this is going to be a miracle product. I like the idea of a simplified routine. I have been using the ordinary products. And if you've used them, they have a treatment for everything that you kind of mix and match like a chemist. And I like the simplicity of going to just a very basic routine. So as I said, on December 6th, I started using this. I knew right away that it was not going to be moisturizing enough. So that same night, I actually picked up this for nighttime use. So ever since December 11th, I've been using this as my night cream and this as my day cream. And I will say, I'll start with this one. I will say this is very nice under foundation. I didn't have any problems with pilling. I didn't have any problems with things slipping. Um, I would put this on, let it soak in for about five minutes or so, and then just go on my makeup routine as usual. And it didn't give me any problems in that regard. I've already mentioned I didn't find it to be particularly moisturizing, um, particularly under my eyes. It was looking parched. So I knew that I needed to pick up something with a little bit more oomph. As I mentioned, this is more aloe-based. This is more oil-based. And so I did use this at night all over my face and neck. And I don't know if it was necessarily the oil or just my skin not liking. A problem I had is I got little breakouts on my chin and around my mouth. Nothing huge. Fortunately, um, breakouts haven't been a huge issue for me for, for a long time now. But for whatever reason, I kept getting little breakouts. And so I would try not to use the oil on my chin, but I would need it because, you know, getting little smile lines, I couldn't find a, a happy medium. In terms of finding a particular benefit, um, I already mentioned that it's, you know, the, the cream is good under makeup. The rich cream seemed to sink in very well. I didn't have any problems with it smearing off on my pillowcase, anything like that. So it did sink in well, but I don't think I would like it under makeup. And I, I did feel like it was moisturizing. You know, I woke up, my skin felt nice. It didn't feel particularly dry. It didn't feel greasy. But you know, with all the hypes, use it for 27 days, you know, my skin looks effing amazing, you'll have rich person skin, all of that. I just didn't find that it lived up to the hype. Do I think it is a nice moisturizer? Yes. But did I actually find that it produced any sort of visible result in me? No, um, I still have a problem with fine lines running across my forehead and looking at before and after pictures from, you know, right after whenever I do a video, I always take a picture of my makeup look and looking at those pictures, I don't notice a, a difference using this product. Um, you know, I do have a little bit, not too bad, but a little bit of uneven skin just from being out in the sun when I was running during the summer. And I didn't find that this improved it at all. So um, in terms of making my skin feel hydrated, making it feel nice and soft, yes, I did see benefit there. But in terms of the, the main aging concerns of fine lines and a little bit of discoloration, I did not see any change whatsoever. And I started to see this come out in all kinds of reviews as being such a great pro product. And the reviews are few and far between. I found, you know, I found some blog posts, but for the most part, um, they were beauty editors, things like that, and not so much a real person review incorporating it into their daily routine. So Definite Pro, you know, my skin felt nice. It felt hydrated. A pro is that I liked the simplified routine, not having to undergo a lot of steps. The con, I felt that because I wasn't using an exfoliator, um, I've been having a lot more trouble with the dry in my combination skin now. 
um, like their skin on my nose that all I want to do is just use a scrub and try to, to exfoliate that off. But I haven't been doing that for six weeks. And so I'm starting to get flaky crocodile looking skin where I've never had that before in my life. And so I don't know if it's just these products aren't moisturizing enough for me or the lack of exfoliation is really starting to get to me. The purpose of the 27 days is to allow your skin to get used to not having all of these exfoliants and other products. And really, it's supposed to train your skin to do what your skin is naturally made to do. And I haven't found, at least in me, that to be the case at all. So con, the exfoliation, con, I don't know if it's moisturizing enough for me. And certainly the price is a huge con. If I'm paying that much money, then I'd like to see some sort of result after six weeks. Now I'm realistic. I wasn't expecting night and day difference, but I'd like to see something a little more positive. So please tell me in the comments below if you've tried this product, what your experience is. If you're interested in trying it and I could answer any more questions, I'm happy to do so. I will mention that on the Augustinus Bader website that they actually have a set. It's $150 for two of the little bottles, the cream and the rich cream, if you're someone like me that needs to have a little bit more balance between the two of them. Thank you for tuning in and I appreciate you sharing your time with me.